the accident I had was a car crash. It happened July of 1990 and it's cost me, uh, I'm a C4 tetraplegic, um, which basically is very little movement in my limbs uh, and means I have to be sat in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. I suffer pain all the time. The pain has gradually got worse over the years, but all, all pain tablets I take, they've all got different um, side effects. Um, and unfortunately, whether it's pain tablets, um, whatever tablets, they all seem to just work on one thing making you sleepy, um, which at times isn't good because you can't think straight, so. I certainly don't want to end my life now. Um, I value life. I'd like to love life. Um, so no, definitely not. But to have it there when the time is right, to me, that's what I'm chasing. Not just for myself, uh, I believe thousands of other people that over the years I've been talking to. Um, to have assisted death in the UK is so important to me and I believe thousands of other people because it'll give you the right to be able to choose the death in the comfort of your own home with the people around you that you want around you, the people that you love and that they love you. So when I made the decision to end my life when I want, where I want, it will be probably the biggest um, peace of mind that I could possibly wish for. I've been in hospitals, I've seen people suffering you absolutely, you wouldn't even like watch a dog suffering like it. I think it's just disgusting that um, I don't have the right to uh, make this decision when I want to. I mean, am I, do they think I'm not capable? I've got a sound mind. So, you know, it's something that I, wouldn't, I don't take lightly because I love life. So why on earth should I want to die? It's not something I want to do, but if it becomes necess necessary in my mind, then to have the permission and be able to do it in the right way, it means everything to me, everything. It would take away from myself, and I know it would be with a lot of other people, the worry. The worry about what happens if I get too worse and I'm not able to do things. And then I'm in the hands of professionals telling me what I can and I can't do. I think, you know, that's a nightmare in itself. Yeah, it's very scary. Quality of life is what it's about. And while you've got a quality of life, I think it lies worth fighting for. But when the scales tip where the quality of life has gone right out of the window, there isn't any left. And all you're faced with is constant 24 hours a day pain. Um, nobody else knows what pain I'm going through. Only I know what I'm going through. Only the people suffering know what they're going through. It just angers me. It angers me that the minority of people don't want to change the law. The majority does. So... Where do we have to go to get this change? How many more percent do we need before something will be done? Well, if I can just help with a, a teeny weeny little bit of um, up in this percentage, that's what I want to do. I feel it's the right thing to do. And I'm actually proud I'm doing it. So for whenever I've got strength, I'll be fighting this.